Well, good morning, everyone. Thomas Montgomery, Smart Money Alliance and IIMFL. It's our pleasure to visit with you today. We get together at eight o'clock in the morning, um, Central, Monday through Friday, and uh, we talk about tips, strategies, techniques, and so forth. Let's uh, start by reviewing our nonprofit's mission statement, and then we'll get into the content for today. We'll see it here at the top of the page. We are a nonprofit organization committed to narrowing the racial wealth gap by teaching financial literacy, improving credit scores, and facilitating the development of minority owned small businesses. And that certainly includes providing access to capital. We have three primary distribution partner roles in our model. We have affiliates, financial literacy educators, and branch office managers. Our daily support calls are, are fairly equally applicable to all three audiences. From an affiliate perspective, if you're not an affiliate, that is a great place to start. You go to our website, which is iimfl.org. You'll see that in our logo as well. Uh, the home page looks like this. You'll click on the career tab. There's a quick overview of the career options and you can click right here to get started and get set up as an affiliate. It's free, it's simple. What affiliates do is they create awareness and they refer in and they get paid. They don't have the responsibility of explaining the program. They don't answer questions. They don't support clients. They just simply generate leads and we take it from there. It's a beautiful, beautiful model. We relaunched the IIMFL affiliate program just earlier this week. It's growing very quickly and we encourage you to, to be one of our affiliates and, and help spread the word. Many people uh, are looking for an outlet to generate more income and uh, to help people at the same time is, is a blessing. The financial literacy educator role is more involved. It requires a background check. Our financial literacy educators are, are going to get licensed, licensed either as an insurance agent and or as a securities licensed professional. Why? Because our financial literacy educators are hands-on working with our small business clients to help them implement. So that's the difference. Affiliates just generate awareness and refer in and get paid. Financial literacy educators can be an affiliate as well but they're also involved with implementation. And I'll describe more what that means in, in just a moment. Let's go over to the other tab, the small business certification. This is our primary program that we're taking to the marketplace. It is a grant subsidized four week course that involves both education and implementation. It's described here on this page. You'll see that each week we have an educational topic like business planning, building business credit, financial management, banking and money, and then we help them implement that. I'll tell you right now that it, it's a very polarizing offer. Some people look at it and say, this is exactly what the market needs. It's exactly what we need because most entrepreneurs need the financial literacy to be able to position themselves to be able to access capital. So we go through this and we help them build their loan package and then help uh, get them prepared for funding, of course, but we're building knowledge so they understand what we're doing and why we do it. So that's one side of the coin. But I'll be honest with you, it's not unusual for people to come back and say, oh, my, my clients don't want to do this. They don't want to learn anything. They just want the results, right? They just want money. Well, the problem is most small business owners don't qualify for funding yet, or they don't know what the right type of capital is for their circumstance. And we've gone a couple years and tried to kind of minimize the role of education and just generate results. But that, that's a messy proposition because then you get clients that don't know what they don't know and often have skewed expectations because sometimes they're not as knowledgeable as you and I are in the terms of small business finance. So this is, this is our model and it's working really well. We're taking it out and signing up 
affinity relationships. We just executed a new one this morning already on, on Thursday morning. You can find the affinity proposal here. We covered it on yesterday's training. So that's where we approach churches, chambers, co-working spaces, organizations, and associations. And with that, what we're able to do is actually help them help their sphere of influence with economic empowerment, improve financial literacy, improve business credit, improved access to capital, but we do a revenue share with them. And so uh, I would strongly encourage you, get familiar with that affinity proposal and get it out into the hands of, of pastors, of, of chamber executives, of associations and organizations. If, if they have a sphere of influence of small business owners, there's a good chance that they're gonna be interested in this because this addresses a key problem of most small business owners in a very proven, legitimate, practical way, and it generates revenue for the, the host, the affinity partner as well. If you all have not gone through this sequence, I encourage you to do so, it's not required. You can enroll yourself and, and go through this four week sequence. If you don't want to do that, that is okay. You can at least sample the first one. You can see the click here. We, you can actually sit through the, the first of the four lessons. But the power of what we do isn't merely the lessons, which comes from an award-winning curriculum developed by the FDIC, promoted by the SBA. As I think you know, we were exclusively selected, IIMFL was exclusively selected to administer, to implement, the small business certification. But it's not just the education, it's the implementation. And again, that's where the financial literacy educators are involved and the affiliates are. So for example, the financial literacy educator is gonna actually visit with, either in person, telephonically or remotely, each participant and help them put together their personal financial statement. I love doing that with small businesses for a couple reasons. Number one, most of them can't do it on their own very effectively, so they need our help. Number two, that's a very important document for many types of funding. So if they don't have a good PFS, that's a barrier. Thus, you and I are helping them overcome that barrier. But third is, is there's no better qualification tool than a that a financial professional could have than a PFS because you understand exactly what's going on in their world in terms of their, their income and their expenses, their assets, their liabilities, what type of asset protection they have now. So this isn't some sort of manipulated, creative way to learn about a small business owner. It's part of this process, part of the packaging that they need to be able to go get funding. It just puts our financial literacy educators in the right place at the right time. And then also our financial literacy educators follow our detailed model of doing a financial needs analysis after the third week. So uh, we gather here Monday, most Mondays through Fridays at eight o'clock. And I just wanted to give you a quick recap, but now spend the rest of our time answering your questions. Because if you don't know how to generate leads, how, how to submit leads, how to get paid, we need to address that because you, as our distribution partners, are an important part of this. I know that in the past 24 hours, well, I should mention this, that we are now offering free drip marketing pages, landing pages with drip marketing included. This is an example of one. At no cost to you, we'll provide you one. You'll just get with Jennifer. And so it'll be coded specifically to you. It'll have our branding, it'll have informational YouTube, and it's meant to be a simple landing page so you can drive prospects to it, drive prospects to it. They put in their name, their email, their phone, they submit it, and then our in-house staff is able to follow up with them, make sure that they're educated, assist them in enrollment, we have a drip marketing campaign that will launch. And that's what I started to mention a moment ago. Within the past 24 hours, we have added over 7,850 new prospective participants into this drip marketing campaign. I mean, it's growing like wildfire. 
you should be doing that as well, right? We can get you a replicated site. You can promote it those ways that you, you would promote, whether it be online or through affinity relationships or, or however you would like. And then you just simply drive the leads into here. It goes into our system. We follow up with those leads and we drip market them. It's, it's a beautiful thing. So it's a one page landing page that we provide for free. So let's go back to, to you. What is it that you need so you can help, let's say at least one new entrepreneur today? What is it that we can do to help you get at least one new client enrolled in the small business certification today? You might say, oh, I don't have a landing page yet. This isn't going to work for me. No, go ahead and just scroll down to the bottom and you can put their name, their email, their phone number here. You need to list referred by you because this is a standardized page. Just because they fill this out, if they don't put referred by you, we don't know that you referred them. But in contrast with the landing page that Jennifer can get you set up on, this will be a unique URL coded to you. So you notice we don't even ask, well, who referred you? because we know who referred them if they came through your landing page. Okay, so again, this, this is meant to be an interactive discussion this morning. So we've got so many bright minds here. We've got Regina, Angela, Annette, April, Vern Z, Christopher, Kwong, Cynthia, Jennifer, Joseph, Luddy, Monique, Peggy, Peter, Robert, Rudy, Sonia, Teresa, Will, and others. What is it that any of you need to be able to drive in participants so we help them and you get paid. Please go ahead and put that into the Q&A box there in Zoom, it's like a chat box. If you don't understand the four week process, let me know. Now, of course, we do in-person trainings every Friday. A bunch of you are coming tomorrow. Look forward to meeting you in person for the first time. But uh, e even if you can't come in for our free Friday trainings, that's okay. Let's discuss now. Go ahead and, and type in your question, comment, or concern, please, into the Q&A box. Regina, so you got your hand up. Go ahead and if you will, type it into the Q&A box. We're here to answer your questions. What is it that you don't understand, any of you, about the small business certification, the value proposition, how you get paid? Okay, so Letty needs some help, and, and I'm here to help you, Letty. And in the next three minutes, I will have you trained. Are you ready? So Letty, what you do is you take your leads, if you need help generating leads, a little bit of a different conversation, but you take small business owners within your sphere of influence, and what you're going to do is drive the, if you don't have your replicated site yet, which is okay, go ahead and put their information in here at the bottom of the inquiry form. Their name, their email, their phone, and referred by you, Letty. Now, if you want, you can have them watch this YouTube video and review this information. You can share with them if you would like the press release or the flyer, but that's all you need to do, Luddy. We can get you going. Now, also, Luddy, we'd love for you to come into the in-person class. These classes are free for our branch office managers, very reasonable for everyone else. We start them at 9 a.m. in the morning. They end at 5 p.m. in the afternoon. We'll provide you lunch. We sit shoulder to shoulder, eyeball to eyeball, and able to go through the training in person to make sure that you have the confidence and competence to implement. So if anyone, uh, Luddy included, if, if anyone would like to come to the training, get with Jennifer. She has to make sure that there's a seat available that given day and she can get you registered. So Luddy, let me know if you have specific questions now, but it's just painfully simple, painfully simple. Just submit the lead. Right now, you can start as an affiliate if you need to and just submit the lead and create a funnel. If you want to be a financial literacy educator, any of you, we can help you do that as well. That does require a background check. You don't pay us anything, but there's a third party that does the background check. If you're not licensed either in insurance or securities, that's okay. We can help you get licensed in insurance or securities. Why do you need that? Because we're talking to people about money. We have to help them create financial plans and some of that falls under what you need to be licensed to do. 
So Letty, let me know if, if, if you don't have enough information to be able to get started today, which is to drive in prospects on the inquiry form. Cynthia, the location for the Friday trainings is our office. And you'll see that right here, our office. Make sure you register first. We had a person one week, it was before the, the pandemic, he flew in from Los Angeles, but he didn't register. We didn't have any available seats. He flew back to Los Angeles. So it's not a walk-in basis. We keep it to five to six attendees or participants per training because it's very interactive. And so, yes, if you'd love to come, if you'd like to come to our training, we'd love to have you. Just simply get with Jennifer. You can call us. Uh, if you don't know how to reach Jennifer, you can email us and uh, we'll get you scheduled. Thank you, Cynthia. Okay, Robert, uh, I will remind Jennifer to get with you regarding the uh, the landing page, but you can always uh, email in and as, as well to the info and we'll make sure that we get that to Jennifer. She might've got a little busy yesterday. We're creating the next batches of landing pages next week. Each week we create a new batch of these. They all look the same, except the URL is unique for each of you. Thank you, Robert. Uh, let's see on the, so Peggy has a question. So on the career page, if someone wants to become an affiliate, they can click right here and it will pop up a new page and you'll be given an affiliate code so you can sign up sub affiliates. So you can become a master affiliate and earn overrides off of other affiliates. And your page will look just like this. It'll have the home, it'll have the sign up, it'll also give you the access to the login, it'll have uh, frequently asked questions, I guess it's on the other page, at the bottom of sign up, there's frequently. So you'll get one of these automatically, and it is, oh, there's some of the questions. But that, that comes once you get signed up as an affiliate, which is free. There's no cost to be an affiliate. And so you're right, Peggy, the function of the affiliate link here is to become a sub affiliate. Hopefully that answered your question. Okay, so Peter's got a good question. Peter's asking, clarifying the difference between the SBC fee. Okay, yeah. So if you are an affiliate, all you do is refer in and you make an easy hundred bucks on the front end per conversion, and then we share in the capital raise with you, you make 1% of, of the capital raise. In contrast, so that's the affiliate, Peter. If you want to be a financial literacy educator, we need to do a background check because you're working with the client. See, affiliates don't work with clients, they just refer them in. We don't need a background check on affiliates. We have to have a background check on financial literacy educators and they're plugged in and actually working with the clients. So financial literacy educators make more money than affiliates do, which kind of makes sense, right, Peter? Because they're doing more. As I just described, and we can go back over to the small business certification, the, on the four week program, affiliates don't work with the clients. They just feed them in to the SBC program, which is the four week curriculum. In contrast, the financial literacy educator is helping them complete a personal financial statement, is helping them do the financial needs analysis so they're, and, and helping them write any policies meet, needed. So uh, we encourage everyone to come to our Friday trainings if you would like to learn more in depth. But the bottom line is, Peter, that affiliates are just referring in, so they make the $100 plus the back-end revenue share, where financial literacy educators get paid more. They get paid 50% of the SBC enrollment, which is the 198 you mentioned, plus they get to write the insurance policy or policies, and they also get a, back, a share of the back-end of the performance fee. Okay, so we answered that, I think. Yeah, so the Friday training, thank you, Joseph. So the Friday trainings that we do are free 
for our branch office managers. It's part of the perk of being a branch office manager if you'd like to be. If you're not a branch office manager or you say, hey, I need more information before I can even make that decision, then you can register for the Friday training. There is a nominal fee. Jennifer will help you with that. And then if you decide later to become a branch manager, it's reimbursed, or I should say credited, credited to your branch office fee. However, even if you don't wanna be a branch office manager, your break even is one, right? So you come in to the one day training, walk away with greater competency and confidence to go implement, and your break even is one new client. So it's a no brainer. But you're right, Joseph, it's free if you're a branch office manager. If not, there's a nominal fee. Okay, and so Letty says she's not talking about how getting, about getting clients, about learning what you're doing. So Letty, yes, definitely. If, if you're an affiliate, super simple. All you need to know is how to feed in clients. Sorry, I was on the other page. If you are a financial literacy educator or a branch office manager, then come to the training because that training is where we can spend a day together and make sure that you know what to do and how to do it. So yes, ma'am, that is available to you. I don't know if there's any seats left available tomorrow, but you can specifically talk to Jennifer and see if there's a seat tomorrow, Luddy, or plan to come in the following week. Okay, let's see. Joseph says, I need to come to the training to train and help myself. Great, get with Jennifer, find out if there's space available tomorrow. I don't know if there is or not, but if not, we're doing the trainings on Fridays now, pretty much every Friday. And so you would just get with Jennifer and get scheduled, Joseph, and, and the, the training's here, we're here, we're ready to train you, we just need you to show up. Kwong asked for the simple landing page, which we just looked at here. He asked, do you, does he use his email responder to opt in new clients' emails? Well, if uh, you're using our landing page, which we're proposing to use Kwong, and we provide it for you free, then you, you're right. Uh, when, when the name and email and phone's put in, then they'll get an opt-in to be able to receive the, the auto sequence drip marketing campaign. But this is all done for you, right? You don't have to go create it. Now, Kwong, if you've got the ability and preference, you want to go create your own landing page, then that's, that's fine. Uh, Letty asks, how does she confirm if she's already registered for training? Get with Jennifer and Jennifer will be able to let you know if you're registered or not. Okay. Peter says, thank you, you're welcome. Uh, Cynthia asks, is there a link to register or do you have to speak with Jennifer? You need to speak with Jennifer. Uh, she is our education coordinator, and uh, you can reach her by her email is her name at iimfl.org, but you can make it simple and just send it here and we'll forward it to her, or you can call in. And our phones are answered live seven days a week now with extended hours during the week. Okay, who else has any questions that we didn't address just to cover the basics, right? The basics are we're a nonprofit, we're here to help small business owners through a threefold effort, right? Improving financial literacy, improving credit, especially business credit, and helping them access capital. And that's crucial. So it's economic empowerment, it's narrowing the racial wealth gap, while the small business certification curriculum is grant subsidized, it's not free. It's a $2,500 program. The grant covers $2,104 of it. So that leaves the participant just $396. If you're an affiliate, you make $100 of each of those enrollments. If you're a financial literacy educator or a branch office manager, we do a 50-50 split with you. We also share the back end off of the performance fee if we help them get funding. 
And then if, again, if you want to help them with their asset protection and help them grow their wealth, then we use different financial instruments for that, of course, and then you would need to be licensed for that. But as an affiliate, super, super simple, and you can have your own affiliate hierarchy, right? Well, we're not MLM, we're not network marketing, you can go over here, become an affiliate, and then start spreading the word. And what's going to happen is you're going to run into people on occasion that have a wide sphere of influence. And so you might, maybe you're not as well connected as, as other people, and you'll end up bringing someone on as a sub affiliate or a sub sub affiliate that has a big sphere of influence that drives in significant volume. So the, the, uh, the potential is, is enormous. The need is, is, is there. The program is very credible and, and very valuable. What other questions do any of you have about the basics? How you can help today start helping small business owners? How you can today start generating an adult income? What questions do any of you have that we can address? Go ahead and drop it into the Q&A there on Zoom. It's like a chat box. Tony asked about the other courses. And so, yes, on the financial literacy, you'll see that there's a lot of other courses that we can teach and, and do teach. But in, until you're up and going and, and meeting your financial goals via our relationship, I would focus on the small business certification. Start there, please. Thank you, Tony. Other questions that anyone has regarding how this works, how to plug in, how to get paid. Our Angela's asking, she's a financial literacy educator and she's asking, should she also be an affiliate? Absolutely. You, everyone should be an affiliate, even if you're a branch manager, even if you're a financial literacy educator, because that provides a, an easy mechanism to plug in affinity partners or sub affiliates. So everyone should be an affiliate, but not everyone will want to be a financial literacy educator or a branch office manager. Great question. Regina, I see your hand up. Do you have a question that you can type in there and ask for us? And does anyone else have any questions? So today what we covered is just the basics, right? No, to go to IIMFL.org. Super simple, right? If you've not signed up as an affiliate yet, start there. It's free. It's simple. There's no strings attached. Click on that. Become an affiliate. Once you are, then you'll have a link and you'll be able to drive people in and build a team. Why would you want to build a team? Because other people know people that you don't know. Other people have more time than what you possibly could do. Have yourself. And so they spread the word. And so we enroll more clients in the small business certification program. We help more small businesses and you get paid more because our affiliates have overrides, right? It's not MLM, it's not network marketing, but you get paid overrides regardless if it's a sub affiliate or a sub sub affiliate. You'll generate on average for those clients that go through the funding part right here. It says a thousand dollars for every referral. And as affiliate, that's all you do is you just refer them in. You don't even need to know how to do anything else. You don't need to know how to describe the program. You feed them in, and if they convert, you make a thousand. If you have a sub affiliate that refers someone in, you still make on average a thousand. If that sub affiliate has another sub affiliate, which would be your sub sub affiliate, guess how much you make on average? A thousand dollars mailbox money. Okay, uh, Regina's asking. The training. So the trainings on Friday are free for branch office managers. It's included in the branch office license fee. If you're not a branch office manager, you are still welcome to register for the Friday trainings, but it wouldn't be free. It's free for the branch office managers. It's a nominal fee for everyone else. It's a break even of one. So if you come in and, and spend the day with us, all you need to do is take what we've taught you and help one new client and you've broken even. So it's not going to be a financial constraint. Great question, Regina. Anyone else have any questions about what we covered or didn't cover, should have covered? This was meant to be a 30-minute overview of how simple it is 
to be able to start helping small businesses. I mentioned the affinity program is strong, right? We, we spent 30 minutes on it yesterday. There's a proposal right here that you should review and you give that out to churches, to pastors, to chamber executive directors. I had a, a, a board member of a chamber of commerce that came to our office yesterday and we stepped down and, and, and reviewed this. I'm telling you, there's a lot of organizations and associations that have groups of small business owners that they would like to help and they'd also like to generate some income from because a lot of these organizations, associations, chambers, and churches are hurting financially right now. All right, and Regina asked, how does she bring on an insurance agent as an affiliate? So what you're going to do is first, Regina, become an affiliate yourself, and you, you may be. But if not, click this button, right? And it's gonna take you to this page. And you're gonna sign up, you're gonna click sign up. And it's super simple, right? Once the page refreshes, you'll see that all you need to do is put in your first name, last name, and username. Now, it asks for some grade, which these are optional fields, but the bottom line is just put in your first name, last name, and username, and bam, you're an affiliate. Well, how would you bring on a sub affiliate? Well, you're going to have a code that's going to bring up a page just like this, and they're going to put in their first name, their last name, and their username. And then our in-house staff is going to give them a call, preferably within 24 hours, welcome them aboard as a new affiliate and help them start producing. Because Regina, what happens when they start producing? They get paid and you get paid. And we help small businesses. So super simple. Now, if you want to bring on an insurance agent, that's going to fall under the financial literacy educator side. And so uh, you can go ahead and, and submit their information in the inquiry form have them let us know that they're interested in becoming a financial literacy educator, the top box, and then we can help them get set up. Peggy has an affinity call today. Uh, very good. Again, for the affinity relationships, Peggy, what we're proposing, and let's go back up to that, is keep it simple. Share with them this affinity proposal. I can bring it up if you want. Share with them the affinity proposal and then have them schedule a three-way call with us, or a, I'm sorry, a calendly call with us. Because if, if you're the one right now, and Peggy, you're sharp, so don't, don't misinterpret, but if you're the one describing all of this to the affinity partner, good luck. I mean, we've been doing this for years. We can describe it probably more succinctly right now than you can. So if you were to just share this agreement and then use our calendly link, and if, if that confuses you, then just again, go back to the IIMFL page, put in their contact information, and then just let us know that they're interested in maybe hosting an event or a relationship, and then we can reach out to them. All right, well, thanks everyone. It's been my pleasure to visit with you. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning, and then uh, a number of you will be in our office tomorrow for in-person training. So. We'll see some of you literally tomorrow. Uh, all of you hopefully we'll visit with via Zoom at eight o'clock central. Have a good day, bye.